differences between var and svar. Var versus svar. Var or vector autoregressive models are used to model the dynamic interrelationships among multiple time series variables. Here, each variable is regressed on its own lagged values as well as lagged values of other variables in the system. VAR models do not consider long-term equilibrium relationships among variables. Whereas, SVAR or structural vector autoregression models are multivariate time series models that implement identification restrictions based on economic theory and other sensible assumptions. The purpose of VAR model is to capture the relationship between multiple quantities as they change over time. Whereas, the purpose of SVAR models is to analyze the dynamics of a model by subjecting it to an unexpected shock. VAR models are widely used in time series research to examine the dynamic relationships that exist between variables that interact with one another. Whereas, SVAR model as an alternative to the large-scale macroeconometric models used in academic and policy work at the time. VAR models explain the endogenous variables solely by their own history, apart from deterministic regresses. Whereas, SVAR models allow the explicit modeling of contemporaneous interdependence between the left-hand side variables. VAR are introduced and made popular by SIMS in 1980. The definitive technical reference for VAR models is Lutke Poll in 1991. Updated surveys of VAR techniques are given in Watson 1994 and Lutke Poll in 1999 and Wagoner and Jar in 1999. Whereas, SVAR are introduced by SIMS in 1980 as an alternative to the large-scale macroeconometric models used in academic and policy work at the time. VAR model helps in time series research by allowing one to inspect the dynamic relationships between the variable interacting with each other. This model is of three types, structural, recursive, and reduced form. Whereas, SVAR model help us to better understand the dynamic relationship between the variables in model and used in transmission mechanisms of macroeconomic shocks and test economic theories. Special attention has been paid to monetary and fiscal policy shocks and other non-policy shocks like technology and financial shocks. Example of VAR model is that, in monetary policy, Let's say we want to control the inflation of the price. As we expect inflation to rise, the monetary authority will increase its instrument and the interest rate and expect the commodity price to go down. It turns out that the price is not going down. Instead, it is rising. Then, without any rule in conclusion, opening the tide of economic mystery, we will conclude that raising the interest rate will also increase inflation or commodity prices. Whereas, example of SVAR model is that, government attempted to reduce inflation by increasing the interest rate. In the unstructured vector autoregression, when increasing the interest rate rises inflation, we just read it as it is, which will create an erroneous conclusion. Meanwhile, in SVAR, we have a time duration that can help explain when the price increases, in which period the inflation goes down or starts to take effect, and whether it's significant. There are three assumptions of VAR models such as the error terms conditional mean is zero, the possibility of large outliers is low and variables within such a model are stationary. Whereas, in SVAR models, the contemporaneous variables may be treated as explanatory variables, which is particularly important when the frequency of the data is relatively long that is quarterly. In short, VAR or vector autoregressive model refers to a type of stochastic model that relates a variable's current observations with the past observations of itself and other variables within the system. It captures the interdependencies and evolution between different time series.
model is used in econometric and finance as it offers a framework for fulfilling crucial modeling objectives, including forecasting, structural inference, policy analysis, and data description. Whereas, SVAR represent a prominent class of time series models used for macroeconomic analysis. The model consists of a set of multivariate linear autoregressive equations characterizing the joint dynamics of economic variables. Kindly subscribe my YouTube channel Thesis Helper. Thanks for watching.